Hey, Kat Chancellor here with Stamp Art Connection and StampArtConnection.com. I'm back with waves of inspiration, and I want to show you another inking technique I'm, I've used to uh, to use this stamp set. I think it's really a cool collection, and I'm kind of enjoying come up coming up with some different uh, stamping techniques. So this for this um, stamping technique, I'm using uh, Misty Moonlight as a base card, and I'm using. Um, I'm going to use basic white and you will see me using shimmery white. I'm using balmy blue, misty moonlight, and night of navy for my inks. You will also need your stamparatus and of course the stamp set um, waves of inspiration for, for this card. Now to begin with I'm going to let you know that I made a couple of, of uh, stamping um, mistakes you know got some ink where I didn't want it so I want you to kind of stay with me because I'm going to show you how I kind of uh, fixed it but anyway just grab your your um, basic white card stock at cut at five and a half and five and a quarter um, position your your um, rubber your cling mount stamp and use those great uh, magnets and those are available in the annual catalog and um, I'm using the lighter of the colors which is the balmy blue and I'm just kind of lightly tapping it I'm not going all over the stamp because what I'm trying to create here is I want to create kind of like a uh, a dark and light uh, kind of tonal color for our wave using these two different um, two different colors the uh, misty moonlight and the balmy blue so now I'm applying the balmy blue and I'm kind of just kind of just you know hitting the corner of my ink pad across the the stamp and then I went back and used a little bit of um, balmy blue um, I hope I said misty moonlight because I'm using those two colors kind of light and dark okay we're gonna do it again and I'm just kind of we're just kind of playing around um, I'm going to clean off the ink using a, a baby wipe there um, and kind of start over um, for this uh, we're just I'm just kind of tapping again just lightly tapping but I only hit one side of the stamp so I'm going to go back and I'm going to kind of uh, try to hit the other side and then I'm using now the darker color and I'm trying to hit the darker color kind of around the the bottom of the wave and around the um, outside and top of the wave so I can kind of get that that tonal color and you can kind of see it worked really well at the bottom of that again I'm going back and that's what's great about the Stamparatus is that you can apply color and you can go back and you can see how it looks and reapply it like right there I missed a couple of spots and I'm gonna go back and fill in I think I'm using balmy blue um, with a lighter color and just kind of fill in on those little areas and there you go um, you kind of have a, a nice tonal effect you see the lighter balmy blue in the center of the wave and then the darker uh, misty moonlight on the outside of the wave so um, I think that I think I turned out well so um, there's our two uh, our two images using that technique now I'm going to kind of shift over I'm going to grab another piece of basic white cardstock and we're going to do something a little bit different and what I'm going to do here is um, I'm pulling out so you can kind of see the difference and kind of that tonal effect I'm trying to get which I'm really happy with but now I'm going to pull in another piece of cardstock and I'm using basic white here I'm lining it up on my grid my nice heavy magnets and I'm going to grab an aqua painter and we're going to grab the ink and I'm going to use the aqua painter and we're going to apply the ink with an aqua painter to see what kind of effect we get with um, with this technique and I, I was really pleased with it so I'm just kind of grabbing just some some ink color straight from the pad and just kind of putting it and this is the balmy blue which is our, our lighter color and kind of again putting it on the inside of my wave and 
Um, being a little, little liberal here, just making sure I get plenty of, of, uh, of color and just kind of letting, letting it kind of, uh, move around the surface. And when I put it on this paper, oh, look at that. I'm really happy with that effect. Really kind of gives it a nice, nice oceany look. So now we're going to add some of the Misty Moonlight, which is the darker of the two blues. And again, I'm using my aqua painter and I use the same aqua painter um, because all you have to do is just kind of, you know, rub it off with a piece of a paper towel and the, um, you can very easily clean the brush. I'm adding the darker around the outside of my stamp because I, I, I kind of want to frame my, my wave a little bit. And there you can see, um, that looks pretty good. And I'm trying to kind of avoid where I put the balmy blue and that's really the key is to apply the color but kind of avoid um, now I'm not sure this really was very effective but um, I think I would have just stuck with the with the coloring with the with the uh, uh, the uh, aqua painter I'm just trying to kind of go back in there and see if I could blend any so um, that's certainly something you can do but I I, I wasn't really it kind of it kind of uh, really didn't give me the effect I wanted. So now I'm going to pull in a piece of shimmery white cardstock and it's the same dimension five and a five and a half by four and a quarter because we're going to cut this down and I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to wipe it off and then we're going to apply and I'm going to be a little bit more liberal with the with the uh, the uh, you can see I'm kind of using the uh, ink from the the uh, top of my stamp set where I kind of use it for watercoloring because I want to be a little bit more liberal with the water and I'm, I'm being um, a little bit more uh, free with how I'm spreading that um, the color and you can see that that kind of offers again a really nice kind of um, ethereal wave look. Now I'm doing the same thing with the um, Misty Moonlight which is our darker color and I'm just kind of trying to get around the edge of my, our wave kind of where I haven't applied any of the balmy blue right because I want to kind of frame this wave a little bit and uh, kind of anchor anchor the color towards the bottom so um, that's what I'm trying to do and I'm kind of just kind of stippling a little bit and um, you have to really press down to kind of get that water to kind of mix with the ink and get onto your paper but I'm really I was really pleased with that look I thought that looked really uh, really uh, really good and that was kind of the effect I was going for and you can see that it's a little bit more a little a uh, little bit more blendy a little bit more ethereal when you compare that against the other ones especially in the center of the wave. I really like the way that kind of came out. So, um, so there are several effects. Now I'm going to uh, bring in the clouds from the After the Storm. This is available in the annual catalog. I really like the clouds and they do go really well with, with, the, um, with the style of this wave. So I'm going to put them on blocks, but because I'm kind of using, kind of mixing water, um, I'm kind of going to go with that same technique. So I took a piece of baby wipe and I just have it there and I'm going to spray some extra water on it from a, from one of my stamping misters. And I just kind of want to uh, stamp and kind of just making sure I, I kind of have some of the water kind of the stamp and the ink or rather the ink and the water kind of blend and kind of give me more of an ethereal looking cloud. Um, doing the same thing here, I'm going to stamp and I'm bringing in a piece of paper because I'm doing the stamp stamp off and I don't want to mess up my sheet because I'm filming so I'm trying to be neat here. Stamp stamp off and that looks you know that looks pretty that I, I think it looks good and the, and the more time you give it the more that ink kind of blends into the paper and it begins to kind of um, pick up the the color that we use from the wave right so you can kind of see 
how how that all kind of comes together okay so um, I'm happy with that so now our next um, step is we're going to use the um, Oh, the next step is I'm going to trim it. Now, I want to leave a little piece of white because at, if you watch my other videos with this stamp, with this uh, particular stamp, you know that this stamp will cut down to five and a fourth by four. So I'm just trimming um, so that I have just a little bit of white because I'm going to put this on dark car cardstock. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you here. I just kind of and I'm gonna move in because I want to show you I just kind of trim the white so that I just have a sliver and then I'm gonna line up that corner right there with the four and that's how I'm gonna get the top see so that it's going to fit very nicely on my five and a half by four and a quarter base all right so now I have my my uh, my three cards, my three stamp sets. Now I'm going to put some some seagulls. Now I'm pulling some of the seagulls from the After the Storm. They're large and small. Now this is kind of where it gets a bit problematic. The large one is fine, but if um, I'm not careful, and uh, they and, and some of you have probably done this before. Um, you can get too much ink on your rubber stamp and then you kind of have that that halo of ink around it and I'll show you what I mean um, oh I'm, I'm doing the that's right I'm doing the sentiment next the reason why I'm doing the sentiment is because if you get the sentiment um, placed on your card well then you can kind of place your your seagulls kind of nicely around that and it kind of finishes your your um, your uh, image okay so I'm kind of stamping off because my Knight of Navy is very very wet okay so I'm just kind of stamped because I don't want a whole lot of a heavy ink stamp okay so these are going rather well alright and this is the larger of the two stamps now I'm put, putting on the smaller stamp and um, this one picks up a lot of ink and I'm trying to get it off um, and then in trying to be careful I well for one thing I only stamped half the bird right half the seagull and then you can see that little ink halo that's kind of there so now I'm trying to recover and nope it's not working you can see I did another ink halo I'm trying to clean off that the the excess ink so that I don't do it again um, this one I did only part of it okay that one was good and that one was good okay so it's uh, it's kind of tricky up oh, there you know there that one was kind of partially done so the way I'm going to fix the partially one ones is very simple I'm just gonna grab a really fine fine tip uh, pen this happens to be in black and I'm just gonna kind of uh, trace over there and just kind of finish that um, the bird the bird image but then now I've got those ink halos over my um, my uh, seagulls now I don't recommend what I just did here don't scrap don't scratch the surface of your paper um, it basically opens up the fibers and you're really not going to get anything accomplished I think I was a little desperate and this is a typical draftsman technique when I was a draftsman in, in college I used to you, you you used to be able to do that but it just kind of usually your ink kind of laid on the surface of your vellum I'm not working with vellum I'm working with cardstock so um, that really didn't work now what I do here is something I would recommend is that I'm using a white gel pen and this product will be linked in my favorite products link and I really recommend having this in your staff in, in your stash and all I'm doing is I'm just kind of applying and there's several sizes so I'm kind of playing with the different sizes and I'm just dabbing the that um, the white gel and it it looks pretty good you know it pretty much covers it but um, because I uh, I scraped the paper 
is some of that pigment kind of went into into my cardstock so and there they are I'll again I'll have that link for you I do recommend them highly recommend them so now what I'm going to do and this is probably what I should have done in the first place is I'm going to grab the, my um, balmy blue ink pad and I'm going to grab the seagull stamp from the wave of inspiration it's a much bigger seagull and I'm going to try to match that curve with the curve of the seagull see that perfect look at that and all I'm trying to trying to do is kind of cover it up but because this is another color it's not it's not um, night of navy it kind of gives a nice uh, effect that you've got birds kind of um, far and near and that one not so good but I'm going to do another one and that looks a lot better so uh, and, and that's the stamp that I use from the waves of inspiration so when you kind of sit back and look at them all I think it actually turned out pretty well and you really don't see my uh, ink halo on those uh, rubber stamps so um, we're going to um, mount these but I'm going to embellish them with some of the rhinestones that come with this collection and these are just gorgeous because the colors are fantastic and um, you can kind of match them with any kind of blue and it and since this collection comes with um, DSP you can also kind of match them with the DSP so I'm just kind of putting the rhinestones over I'm kind of looking at a color that I want to uh, to pull in and I'm just putting the three rhinestones right there along the bottom just to kind of add just another layer or just in a little little bit of of, um, of uh, bling to an otherwise very simple card and I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to pick a darker color because I'm just kind of trying to pull in the dark portion of my wave. And I'm going to just pull in so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just kind of, you know, lining them up. It's not really hard to do. And then I think I used one of the darker colors. Again, gorgeous um, rhinestones. They really go well. And I, I really like the kind of little extra um, bling they kind of add to my to my uh, my composition here okay so you can kind of see with the light or kind of like the very thin white around the edge now I'm going to um, use um, I pulled a knight of navy in here for these last two uh, I'm cutting it. That's what you see that ribbon there. I've got my um, cutting my uh, stamping trimmer out and I'm just I grab some um, Knight of Navy cardstock and I'm just cutting a couple of um, base cards because I'm I want to um, kind of put these two last two images on this Knight of Navy base because I think that really kind of pulls in the um, kind of like the the, the darkness from from the um, from our wave and again just very easily just use my uh, Tombow multi-purpose glue very simple it mounts nicely and you can see how um, how pretty that is now I'm going to use the uh, bird um, there's a pelican that's sitting on on the the pylons but I'm going to tell you that um, uh, when I tried to line this bird up and I'm going to show you this because I'm going to give you a recommendation here when I put the bird on that side I just can't seem to get him straight and I'm going to I'm going to show you what happens as hard as I try to line up that pylon it just kind of well it's kind of crooked and it's, uh, I, I was a little frustrated so what I did is that I um, and I'm just going to flip this paper over is I'm going to use a darker color I'm going to put the bird lower I'm still not happy with that so I'm going to do I'm going to do another one but this one I'm going to put on the other side because I think it's easier to line up that pylon with the edge of that paper and then I I like 
I like those pylons to be kind of coming off the bottom because it looks straighter to me. So play around with it, you know, if you get the set, um, because I, I, I just kind of um, like the way that looked rather than trying to put it on the other side. It was just a lot easier um, from, for me to stamp. So um, that's, what I, uh, that's what I recommend. So that's the inside of my card. And um, I just kind of wanted to pull that in. I don't usually show you the insides, but in that case I did. I think one of them I'm going to have to um, move aside because I'm going to I'm going to do another another uh, uh, I'm going to stamp another one. Okay, isn't that pretty? So kind of all goes together nicely. I like the monochromatic theme. You know the blues and the white. I think it's very clean, very fresh, and very simple. So because um, that kind of shows through, I'm going to kind of put that aside. And then what I'm going to do is, from my other video, I cut some of the little, um, there are some dies that come with this set with uh, these um, seagulls. So I had some extra ones. I'm just going to put them on a piece of cardstock. And that is going to be my inside right there, which was kind of fast. And I think it was kind of cool. So there you go. I hope you really like these. I really enjoyed putting this together. I hope I've given you some ideas for some uh, different techniques you can use for this stamp. Uh, I think it's a beautiful stamp and it's very simple to use. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a comment and if you like this new format uh, with my voiceovers, please let me know.